Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going for a run in the rain actually. The weather is not that great with another uh, Elise that I'm currently waiting for. So I'll just do a very quick walk around before we go while I'm waiting for the other Elise to come. Uh, so it's a Lotus Exige. 420 final edition so 420 stands for the horsepower so this car has 420 horsepower it's pretty light uh, as of most of the lotuses in this era it's only 1100 kg uh, so it's pretty light for the horsepower it has so the power to weight ratio is pretty good uh, it's bonded aluminium uh, construction for the frame of the car so that's why it can get to such a lightweight reinforced plastic so again that sheds weight so the 420 comes with a few carbon fiber parts so it got the carbon lip right here looks very good and the right height of the car sits very low it's only about uh, 11 to 12 centimeters high so yeah again I have to be very careful when I go over speed bumps or up a hill um, the front fascia everything works all the aero holes all the vents are all functional so you got a radiator here a large central radiator right here in the front and another radiator right here so everything is functional and so there's it, it is a mid-engine vehicle it's a mid-engine car usually a mid-engine car uh, there is going to be a front boot here but not with the Exige or the Elise because this is occupied by a large central radiator for heat management and the air goes in from the front goes through the radiator and comes out from the top vent here so the aero in this car is pretty uh, pretty good lots of downforce side profile this is a very small car actually uh, once you're inside the cabin, it feels very snug. Uh, so everything's centered around the driver. Uh, almost like feels like a go-kart when you are driving this. So it's a very, very small vehicle in terms of footprint. I've got the carbon side part here. These mirrors are hand adjusted. There's no power adjustment at all this roof here is actually removable you can remove this and replace it with a soft top so this can become a roaster essentially that's the fuel cap pretty cool aluminium you have to use a key to open it rear tires the rear fender uh, pops out quite a lot so you can see the stance is actually quite wide and because of that you get a lot of stone chips around this area here which is not ideal but this is how the car is designed so let's move to the rear yeah uh, it's a very typical Lotus uh, rear design very similar to the Elise you can see the Lotus logo right there the central mounted exhaust and very large diffusers at the back for aero purposes and you can see the wire mesh there uh, just to extract the heat out from the engine bay and also from the exhaust nice carbon wing mounted to 
the very nice looking carbon rear lid. It's powered by a Toyota sourced V6 uh, 3.5 liter V6 engine. Again, it produces 424 horsepower. It's a supercharged engine. So the power delivery is very, very linear because of that. So it's a different from a turbo setup. So with the brakes, we've got aluminium monoblock, four piston calipers in the front with cup two tires. And at the back, we've got four piston calipers as well. Uh, again, uh, 285 section Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. These tires are pretty grippy when it's dry. But in today's weather, I have to be quite careful. Uh, it could be quite slippery. And these are uh, an option when you purchase the car. This is mainly for track use. Uh, this one is for uh, electricity cutoff. So if your car go into an accident, they can press this button here. This is a cap. You have to remove this to reveal the button to cut off all the power in the car. And this is for uh, extinguisher. There's a whole extinguisher system right inside the car, inside the engine bay as well. So in track use, you remove this cap. And if you go into the accident, uh, someone else from the outside can press this button to, you know, uh, extinguish the fire. So inside the vehicle, you can see the door card. It's quite nice. Uh, it's got Alcantara and leather. And I really like this top section where it matches the body color. And also Lotus uses a lot of aluminium elements. You can see the door lock is also in aluminium. So looking at inside the car, very nice Alcantara wrapped steering wheel. It holds very well in your hand and it's quite small. Feel like a gold card again when you're driving. Uh, this is the digital driver's dial right in front of you. I think only the final editions, which this car is, comes with digital dials. It's a start stop button and different drive modes. It's got three drive modes from normal to sport to race. That's for the lights. Very nice looking bucket seat. It's full carbon. These seats are very comfortable actually. I've done some long trips in it. In them, uh, they feel quite nice. Manual gearbox right there. The exposed uh, mechanism looks amazing actually. So it's very stripped down interior. I don't even have a radio. It's occupied by the extinguisher and engine cart uh, system, which I optioned. This is for the AC knobs. You can see everything's exposed aluminium. Uh, looks very cool, actually. I really like it, although it's very uh, stripped out and very minimal but yeah this is a machine designed for driving so you sit in there and you just drive uh, you worry about nothing else so yeah very amazing so the elise is here now so we're going for a drive hope you like the walk around of my exige and i'll see you next time bye